Hey guys, it's Hope, and I am back to do a book review over The Elite by Kara Cass. And just like the selection, this cover is absolutely beautiful. I love it. And the spine matches the selection, which I also love. And I think, though, out of the two of these books, out of The Elite and The Selection, I do think I like the selection cover the best. But this one's equally as beautiful. Anyways, since this is the second book in the trilogy, if you guys haven't read the selection, I probably wouldn't stick around and watch this video. Come back when you've read the selection because the selection is great, so you definitely need to pick it up. But yeah, I don't want to spoil anything for you. So come back. See you then. Bye! <laughs> Okay, so welcome back to the people who have read this selection, and yeah, so let's just start off with what in the world just went down. The book, or yes, the selection ended with um, us knowing that there are six girls still remaining. Um, because of the rebel threats, they didn't want to keep around uh, more girls than necessary, so they cut it down to six. And guess who's in the six? America Singer! Woo woo woo! Um, Still, Holy Love Triangle, we still have the constant battle between Prince Maxon and Aspen, which I kind of totally got in the first book, but in this book, I found it a bit annoying. And here's the reason why. Okay, so we know that Prince Maxon is here to choose a girl to be his princess, and America has been kind of stringing him along. And she's getting upset with him because he's with these other girls when it's so clear that he really, really wants America. Yeah. So that's what's, that's what's annoying to me because she gets upset when she sees Maxon with other girls, but freaking America is sneaking around smooching Aspen and saying all these things like, ooh, I still kind of want to be with you, but you just have to wait because at the end, oh my gosh, the end of this election, when she said to Aspen that she had to figure out what she wanted, and so then he said, so you're choosing Maxon over me, and she said, no, I'm not choosing you or Maxon, I'm choosing me, and I was like, woo, go girl, yes, I love that girl power, but where, I mean, uh, uh, where did that go in this book? Because I found her pretty annoying. And like I said, mostly because she has these double standards. She's getting mad at Maxon for showing the other girl's attention, but she's sneaking behind Maxon's back to hang out with Aspen. And I get it. It's a love triangle, and this is the second book. And it's kind of a filler because at the end of this book, I thought the selection like competition was going to be over. I thought that there was no way that they could go another full book and not have the selection competition be over. But at the end of this book, the competition is still going. And I was a little annoyed with that. I think Kira Cass could have easily ended the competition in this book or made it this book and the selection all one book and then like wrote she could have written other two other books I don't know anyways um I still really did enjoy this book not as much as the selection I ended up giving this one a four out of five stars uh, mostly because America's reactions and the things that she did in this book drove me absolutely nuts I do believe she's going to redeem herself in the one, and I'm excited to see if that actually happens. But yeah, I just think Aspen needs to get the heck out of the story. The love triangle needs to be no more. And I loved how this ended. I love that she... Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because people may be watching this that have read this election and have not read The Elite. Anyway, she finally makes a decision at the end, and I love that she has finally woken up and realizes what is good for her. Um, something else that, uh, it was just a huge shocker to me, was 
the uh, we, the reader realized the true relationship Prince Maxon has with his dad. And the rebel attacks were getting worse. And a lot of things were weighing down on Maxon's shoulders. And you really see the king's true colors. And I loved that twist. I felt horrible for Maxon. I love that America was also able to see kind of what was going on. Um, but yeah, I kind of have a theory about the rebel attacks. And I'm really hoping that America's father is not involved in them. But I kind of have a feeling that maybe, maybe he is. Like, no! I love America and her father's relationship. And I just feel like if her dad is a part of these attacks, my heart is going to break. Because I feel like he's perfect. Anyways, it may totally not be. And I guess I'll find out in the one. But yeah, we'll just see. Chaos ensues in this book, and I'm excited to see what happens. But yeah, four out of five stars. Definitely think that it was a good read. Not excellent like the selection was, but I'm very excited to see what happens in the one. So I am, of course, going to continue reading, and I am still Team Maxim. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know below what you guys thought of America's character in this book. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys soon after I finish the one. Have a great day. See you soon. Bye.